Red light therapy is pretty incredible. There are so many research-backed benefits to red light exposure, but today I want to focus on one specific benefit, wound healing. The reason I'm especially interested in this benefit is because I have quite a massive scar on my back. So I've been looking for non-invasive, non-aggressive ways to help speed up wound healing with the mechanisms within my own body and red light therapy is perfect for that. There are more aggressive lasers that can help kind of burn off the pigment, but red light therapy is really cool because essentially these wavelengths of light are able to penetrate your skin cells to the perfect depth to actually change their behavior in a way that light that is a shorter or longer wavelength is not able to do. Researchers believe the mechanisms of action behind the improved wound healing have to do with improved oxygen and blood flow, as well as the increase in collagen production that has been shown with red light exposure, as well as increased cell proliferation. So our body is literally making more cells more quickly. And of course that helps us rebuild the skin and just heal the whole wound environment. So for the past 30 days, I have gone to the red Red light therapy near infrared sauna at my local gym sat my booty in front of that light for about 20 to 30 minutes a day. Obviously this review is a mixture of both the red light therapy benefits and the sauna benefits because I could not separate the two so keep that in mind. There's the confounding factor of there being heat while I'm doing this which also increases blood flow and has a number of other bodily benefits but I'm gonna link a bunch of citations down below that really focus on the wound healing properties of red light. That's what I'm most interested in. By the way, I'm Robin and welcome to the Science of Self-Care. On this channel, we talk about all things science, self-care, and wellness, and I always leave citations below every video so you can understand where I'm pulling this information from. So this is my scar. I cannot personally, I cannot personally look at my scar because it's in such a weird place that I Let's take a look at this before and after because I have not really looked at these photos. I've had other people take them of my back. I haven't looked at them and compared them side to side. So let's do that right now. So a little background on my scar. The scar is about a year old. So even though scars naturally lighten and heal over time, it's not as if this is super duper fresh. So I don't think 30 extra days would have a huge impact on the difference. Let's see. There's just a lot less redness and it looks like the texture of my skin has also improved. Holy guacamole, I'm actually really shocked and this just reinforces my obsession with red light therapy. <laughs> which I was already obsessed with before this 30-day experiment. I'm really excited to hopefully in the next year acquire a giant red light that I can use at home. Right now I only have access to the red light at my gym and a face mask, which I did an in-depth review on if you're interested. I would love to know if you've ever used red light therapy, if you have any devices at home or at your gym that you use regularly. Share your experiences with red light down below and if you're interested in hearing about my experience using a red light therapy face mask, for two and a half years, then watch this next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time.